Let's record MIDI. It's about recording notes, like melodies, chords, or drum patterns. Now we're gonna record MIDI, which is different from audio recordings. As shown in the last video, some keyboards can be used for recording audio as well, so head there if that's what you want to do. For this video, I'm using an FL key 37, which is optimized for use with FL Studio. But any MIDI keyboard will work. Even if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, this video can still be useful for you. With this icon, it turns your computer keyboard to a piano that you can use for recording MIDI as well. Now, before opening FL Studio, start by connecting your MIDI device and install all the drivers for it. Now open FL Studio and head to Options and MIDI. Here you can see the list of devices. We got a MIDI input tab and a MIDI output tab. For now, let's focus on the MIDI input tab. The FL key 37 automatically integrates with FL Studio here, but if yours doesn't, here's how to set it up. Select your keyboard and make sure it's enabled. Also choose a controller type. FL Studio has built-in controllers, so try to find one that matches the name of your MIDI device in the list. If you can't find one, you can choose generic controller and it will work just fine. Now let's enter the channel rack and make sure we have a sound selected here. Now try playing. Nice! The highlighted sound in green here is the one FL Studio will play from. You can click or use the arrow keys to change it. You can also lock sounds, so they'll be played regardless of what you've got selected. Right click it, receive notes from, and then pick your keyboard. For the MIDI channel setting here, there are many to choose from, but for a simple setup, you can pick all channels. You can also have several instruments locked at once. Here's all three. Now it's time to record. You can record both in pattern mode and in song mode. Let's start in pattern mode. Right click the record button. This brings up the recording filters, and we want to make sure that we've got notes selected here. You can keep the other ones active as well. Now click the record button. You could record now directly, but I'll enter the piano roll to visualize it. Now hit play. And in the pattern we got our newly added recordings. Now let's record MIDI in song mode. I'll unlock the other sounds here. So we got this one left. Now in here in the playlist, I'm in song mode and I've prepared by placing an empty pattern. It's also the one I've got selected. This will be the one we record into. Hit play. There we have it. If you record longer than the length of the pattern, Don't worry, the pattern will expand upon stop. Recording MIDI also leads us to quantization. Quantization is about correcting the timing of your notes. As you're human, it can be hard to play exactly on beat. Unquantized. Quantized. To get into this, let's first have a look at FL Studio's snap settings. You change them with the magnet icons. First, click the magnet icon in the piano roll. Set this to main. When it's set to main, the piano roll snap settings will follow the global ones set up here. If it's set to beat, our grid is divided into 4 beats per bar. If we set it to half a beat, we get 8. While our 4th beat gives us 16th notes. If we record MIDI with one of these selected, FL Studio can automatically snap the note to the closest grid line. And it gets quantized. Note that the global magnet icon is what sets this, not the one in the piano roll. And if it's set to line, cell, or none, no automatic quantization will occur. Pause here if you want to learn more about these snap modes. You can also turn off the automatic quantization completely through right-clicking the record button. Make sure that these are unchecked, because you can always quantize later on with the quantization tool. 
Listen to this recording, for example. Let's tighten this up a bit. Go to Tools in the Piano Roll and open the Quantization tool. And here it can be fun to experiment a bit, but for 100% time correction, set sensitivity to max and bring up the start time. It's a bit tighter. Pause here if you want to read more about the Quantization tool. There's a whole lot to meter the recordings. It's a quick way to get ideas going. And it's fun. Enjoy exploring it. Thank you.